approximately 3.5% of all children born in a certain region or from multiple births, that is twins, triplets, etc. Of the children born into the region who are from multiple births, 22% are left-handed. So if you are from multiple births, there is 22% chance that you're left-handed. And of the children born in the region who are from single births, 11% are left-handed. Interesting. A. What is the probability that a randomly selected child born in the region is left-handed? So we want to find the probability that the person is left-handed. And there are two ways of being left-handed. There is one way of being from multiple births. There is one way of being from multiple births and being left-handed, being left-handed. Or you can be from single births or you can be from single births. So probability of being from single births and being left-handed and being left-handed. So let's find the respective probabilities and add them up. For the first one, the probability that you're from multiple births is 3.5% or 0.035. And out of those, there are 22% chance that you're left-handed. So you want to multiply this by 0.22. And that takes care of the first one. Let's go on to the next one. What's the probability that you're going to be from single births? Well, there's 3.5% chance that you're from multiple births. So there has to be 96.5% that you're from single births. 100 minus 3.5 is 96.5. So the probability is 0.965 times if you're from single births, there's 11% chance that you're left-handed. So 0.11. Adding them up, you should get something similar to 0 0.1139. So that's the answer to the first one. Let's go on to part B. What is the probability that a randomly selected child born in the region is a child from multiple births given that the child is left-handed? So we want to find the probability that the person, the child, is from multiple births given that the child is left-handed. And we know probability of A given B, probability of A given B is probability of A and B divided by probability of B. So we can just write this as probability of having multiple bars, multiple bars, and being left-handed, left-handed, divided by probability of being left-handed. And we know both of these. For the one on top, probability of being multiple bars and left-handed, we calculated it up here for this one. That's 0 0.035 times 0 0.22. So let's write that down. So 0 0.035 times 0 0.22. And we're dividing by probability of being left-handed, which is this entire thing, or 0 0.1139. So we divide by 0 0.1139. And you should get something like 0 0.068. So that's the answer to part B. On to part C. A random sample of 20 children born in the region will be selected. What is the probability that this sample will have at least 3 children who are left-handed? We know the probability of one person when one person is picked is left-handed is 0 0.1139 from part A, from part A. And now we are picking 20 children, so the sample size is 20. The proportion of the population that should be left-handed is 0 0.1139, and we want to have either 3, 4, 5, 6 children who are left-handed. So we want, let's let x be the number of children, number of children that's left-handed, who are left-handed, so we want to find probability that x is 3 or greater. Or just to make the calculation easier, we want to find 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. And how do you find this? How do you find probability that x is less than or equal to 2, given that n is 20 and p is 0 0.1139? Well, you use binomial distribution. You use binomial, binomial distribution. And you're going to evaluate it at x equals to 0. 
one and two and very quick way of doing this is by using TI-84, TI-84 or 83 and you go into binome CDF, binome CDF which is going to be cumulative so it's going to calculate it from zero up to the number that you plug in so in our case two and you have to make sure you write you have to make sure that you write down that n equals to 20 p is equal to 0 0.1139 and of course we are going up to 2 so in our case when you evaluate this you should get 0 0.5976 so it should be 1 minus 0 0.5976 so that's 0 0.5976 which is about 0 0.402 so that's the answer to part C. I do still want to point something out. You may argue that binomial distribution only applies when you have sampling with replacement. And that's true. Binomial distribution cannot be perfectly applied unless you're sampling with replacement. And in our case, we are sampling without replacement because we're picking 20 different children. But however, we can assume, we may assume, and it's very reasonable to assume that the sample size of 20, that the sample size of 20 or n equals to 20, that n of 20 is less than 10% of the population size. 10% of the population size, population size. So it's reasonable that we are not going to pick the same people multiple times even if we were sampling with replacement. So in our case, we can approximate this probability using binomial distribution even though we are sampling without replacement because the sample size is small enough compared to population size.